about the term judicial philosophy for many years, and I'll say again what I've said many times, I don't think such a thing exists. I, I think I'm skeptical of the notion there's such a thing as judicial philosophy, and I think that when we see the term bandied about in the evening news or on the op-ed pages, it is simply a, it's a trope, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor for how would you decide cases? What would the, be the actual outcomes that you would reach? I am a lot less concerned with what outcomes a judge is going to reach than if a judge, like every other public official, is going to do his or her job with a sense of humility. What worries me most in public life is power. What worries me is the exercise of power. And I think that judges in America should recognize, whether they're on the, the local municipal court or the Supreme Court of the United States, that we invest them with enormous authority and they should use it judiciously. Judiciously. I think they should act with a degree of humility. I think that judges should not be in the business, this is whether we think of them as conservative or liberals, as simply trying to say, at last, I'm finally a judge, I can set things right. That's the worst attitude for anyone to have, whether it's a judge, a president, a mayor, whoever it might be. I think that what is called for in people who have great power is great humility. And so whatever it may be that a judge's philosophy might be, What's important to me is that we believe the judge will exercise that philosophy with a degree of humility. Ooh, yeah.